Greetings, cherished members of our spiritual family. May your day commence with joy and be sustained by divine strength. With the dawn of each new day, we are graced with the sacred kindness and generosity of Jesus Christ. The blessings of God are interwoven with your every joyful expression. The Blessed Virgin beckons us daily, guiding us through the transformations and novelties that life presents. In the serene town of Medjugorje, it was reported that the Blessed Mother conveyed a profound message to Mirjana Dragicevic. This message, delivered on the night of July 7, 2024, spoke of significant transformations in the celestial sphere. The sharing of this video is encouraged to spread the word far and wide, with the hope that it resonates deeply, guiding individuals toward spiritual awakening and the redemption of souls. Those who find truth in this message are invited to affirm their faith with a simple Amen. The essence of this passage is the transformative power of prayer in the life of a believer. It serves as a call to action for the faithful to immerse themselves in prayer, to seek, and to knock with the assurance that the doors of divine grace will open. As we prepare to delve into the heart of our discussion, let us unite in a moment of prayer, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge your divinity, your sacrifice on the cross that delivered me from the bonds of sin and death, and bridged the gap to the Father. I now turn away from all my transgressions and every aspect of my life that falls short of your glory. I embrace you, dedicating myself to you. I accept your mercy and invite you to occupy the central place in my existence as my Redeemer and Sovereign. Reign over my spirit, saturate me with your presence, and guide me towards becoming a person of genuine love, mirroring your example. Revive me, O Christ. Dwell within me, express your love through me. I am grateful, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, I offer this prayer. Amen. In the embrace of divine guidance, I offer up my liberty, recollections, insight, and volition. Every treasure I possess is a gift from you, and to your divine plan, I yield them. For in your boundless grace and love, I find my richest treasure. Bestow upon me these gifts, O Lord, and I shall seek no more. So be it. In a heartfelt call to the faithful, the Blessed Mother implores each individual to engage in personal prayer, recognizing their unique needs and offerings. She warns of the dwindling number of true followers and the arrogance of humanity, which has led many to idolize themselves, equating to self-destruction. Despite the lessons of history and the signs provided, many remain unaltered in their ways. The Blessed Mother cautions that only those devoted to her Son will maintain clarity amidst the societal worship of wealth. A stark reminder comes with the diminishing daylight and a celestial event on Corpus Christi Day, where the moon's sudden absence and the encroaching darkness serve as a harbinger for reflection and vigilance. In a transformative display of celestial wonder, the foliage will surrender to the cycle of life, shedding its verdant splendor. As the lunar orb takes a brief respite from our gaze, it heralds a divine manifestation. On the solemn day commemorating the sacrament of the Eucharist, a divine radiance will descend, a testament to the sacred bond between the Creator and creation. As the clock strikes the midnight hour, the heavens will unveil luminous phenomena, casting an ethereal glow upon the nocturnal canvas. Moreover, a celestial ballet will grace the firmament, with meteor showers painting the obsidian expanse with incandescent strokes. These celestial messengers, ablaze with glory, etch their ephemeral paths across the sky, a spectacle of creation's fleeting beauty. For those who seek to witness this heavenly pageant, the optimal sanctuary lies in the embrace of darkness, far from the artificial day created by mankind. There, under the unobstructed dome of the night, one may contemplate the wonders of the cosmos and perhaps reflect on the words of Psalm 19 verse 1, the heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of His hands. In the embrace of divine love, we are called as the cherished offspring of the heavenly realm. 
The manifestation of the divine is a beacon of hope and blessing for humanity. To be graced with such divine favor, one is encouraged to engage in prayer and seek solace in the sanctuary of the church daily. Carrying a crucifix is more than a symbol, it is a magnet for divine grace. The sacrifice of the Son was not for earthly gain or to assert dominion over others. It was a selfless act of redemption, washing away transgressions and offering the gift of everlasting life to those who yearn for it. Yet, it is observed that faith wavers at the slightest discomfort, at words that challenge or displease. True spiritual strength is found in independence that uplifts the spirit. There is a passive surrender to darker forces, and a lack of insight into the significance of unfolding events, despite forewarnings from a maternal figure. The congregation of the sun may dwindle, but those with insight will perceive the truth behind each occurrence. It is a call to prayer, to discernment, to readiness, and to humility. The maternal heart of the divine is ever welcoming, ready to guide us to the Holy Son. In this sacred heart, find refuge, guidance, and love. We are cherished, blessed, and safeguarded. In the face of fear, we are reminded to stand firm in faith. Reflecting on the Blessed Virgin Mary The Blessed Virgin Mary, revered for her purity and grace, was chosen to be the mother of Jesus without the stain of original sin. This unique privilege is celebrated in the prayer, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. It is a prayer that echoes through time, honoring her immaculate conception. As we contemplate Mary's role in divine history, we are reminded of the prophetic words found in the Gospel of Luke, which speak of tumultuous times marked by natural disasters and celestial wonders. Luke 21 verse 11 serves as a stark reminder of the trials humanity may face, yet also of the heavenly signs that accompany God's plan. In these reflections, we find solace in Mary's example of faith and obedience, which guides us through life's challenges. Her message, a blend of divine mystery and maternal care, continues to inspire and comfort believers around the world. The scripture suggests that as we near the end of days, the heavens will present us with remarkable occurrences. These could be anything from unusual astronomical events to significant happenings that underscore the might and dominion of the divine. Such occurrences serve a dual purpose, they not only underscore the importance of the era we live in but also encourage introspection about our spiritual standing in connection with the Deity. As we gather to honor the sacred tradition of the Lord's Supper, let us turn our eyes to the heavens, where signs and wonders herald the Divine Presence. We are grateful for your companionship on this journey through our video. With hearts unburdened by dread and fortified by a faith greater than ever before, may we march forward in spiritual unity. May we remain steadfast in our prayers, seeking the Almighty's infinite mercy and favor. May His divine protection be upon us all. Blessed be.